to admit people who are not registered voters to the meeting. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed, unanimous. And the chair will rule that Mr. Turosh will have freedom of the floor for the purpose of press coverage. And perhaps while we are waiting, you might want to join me in pledging allegiance to the flag. People who were admitted to the meeting either be served for their respective boards and committees up front at the tables or in the front row in the center. And if you're not affiliated with one of the town's boards of committees, such thing, please be seated in the front three rows of the section to my right, your left. Last line item with which we dealt on, uh, at our last meeting, which was quite a while ago, April 13th, uh, was line item number 53. So the next line item to come up for consideration at this time uh, the salaries and expenses of the Board of Appeals, line items 54 and 55. And in the absence of a motion, Chair will announce the tellers who are going to help count the vote tonight. Mr. Reitmeier will be counting the section on your left, my right. Mr. Quayle will be counting the center section. And Mr. Piero will be counting the section to my left, your right, and the tables up front, and the town clerk, and the town clerk's assistant this evening.
think the time has come for the moderator to wave the magic wand and cause the Board of Selectmen to appear, but somehow it ain't working. <laughs> Chair will therefore declare a recess until such time as the Board of Selectmen are on the premises. Chair understands there is a motion to admit to the meeting. Mrs. Holson. Mr. Moderator, I move to admit Judy Romano, 8 Marshall Street, North Reading. All right, on the motion to admit Judy Romano, all those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Mrs. Uh, Vullo. Mr. Moderator, I move that the following person be admitted to the meeting. Robert Goss, 24 Arlene Avenue, Wilmington. You've heard the motion. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Line item 54, do we have a motion under line item number 54? Mr. Sylvia, do you have a motion? I move to pass over lines 54 and 55 until after completion of the school committee budget. The motion is to postpone consideration of line items 54 and 55 until after consideration of the school committee budget. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, on the motion to postpone, all those in favor of postponing, please say aye. aye. Those opposed? You, motion is carried. Line item 56. Is there a motion on the line item number 56? Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Moderator, members of town meeting, I move that the town vote to raise by taxation and appropriate the sum of $8,450,279 for the support of the public schools as printed on page 30 of the warrant under sponsor's recommendation. You've heard the motion. Does the finance committee have a recommendation? Mrs. Holsing. Mr. Moderator, I move to amend the bottom line of the education budget to $8,380,279 with $8,250,809 to be raised and appropriated and to transfer $129,470 from stabilization. You've heard the Finance Committee recommendation and you've heard the main motion. The debate will continue on the main motion and on the Finance Committee uh, recommendation for an amendment. On the main motion, Mr. Hernandez. The 1992-1993 school budget, I believe, is a good budget. In fact, I feel that it's the best we can do under the present fiscal circumstances. We propose a budget of $8,450,279, which is $263,018, or 3.21% more than last year. Keep in mind that this is only 8% more than we functioned with five years ago when we had fewer students in the system. Mr. Dodge of the Finance Committee has asked town meeting what is not being done. While the school department was able to restore several positions this year, there are many educational programs once offered which are not available to our students at this time. This is directly attributable to the loss of positions. There are students whose educational needs are not being met. Mr. Dodge also asked, where are we going? 
because we expect an increase in number of students every year for at least the next 10 years, you can see the numbers there, total enrollment this year, next year, and going on all the way to the year 2000. As you can see, we anticipate a steadily increase in the student enrollment, particularly over the next 10 years. With this, we will be surely challenged to maintain optimum class sizes and to provide a curriculum broad enough to meet the needs of all students. We have seen classes of 30 students this year and textbooks with old copyright dates. Can we expect first grade teachers, for example, to do their best for our children under such circumstances? The budget includes a provision for hiring 129.2 teachers, an increase of five over the current year, yet 8% fewer than two years ago. At least two new positions, excuse me, at least two new positions are earmarked for the elementary level. The task of deciding which teaching positions should be restored will be, de will be decided using a criteria established by the committee. And I'll show that to you now. One, add positions that will benefit the maximum number of students. Two, protect pupil-teacher ratios in basic subject areas with elementary classrooms receiving the highest priority. Okay, excuse me. As you can see, equipment is also needed. Three, add teachers required to provide adequate instruction in core subject le levels at all levels. Add positions required to service students with specific needs. And last, add positions required to restore programs previously eliminated. What positions we filled will be decided after high school course registrations, kindergarten enrollment, and other class size variables have been determined. Obviously, we will not be able to meet all needs. Let us right now compare our student teacher ratios. Siemens and Collaborative located here in North Reading, and you can see the projected enrollments for next year. Kindergarten to fifth grade, this year is a 935, next year we're looking at 973, and the year after 1008. Middle school enrollment this year, 380, next year 394, the year after 448. High school going from 491 this year, 480 next year and 462 the year after, which brings enrollment figures of 1833 for this year, 1877 for next year, and 1948 for fiscal year 94. With the budget, we are proposing here are the class sizes that we are looking at with the approved budget that we are requesting tonight. In the bachelor's school, in the kindergarten level, we're looking at class ratio of 22 students for each teacher, hood school, 22 students for each teacher. First grade, bachelor's school, 21 students for each teacher, hood school, 22 students for each teacher. Sec Best I can do. 